So today, it's a little bit, well, it's a lot gloomy outside. It's raining, so if there's rain noise, if anything, I think it should add to the video. I don't know. And no, really, this is a very serious kind of video that I'm going to talk about today. And a lot of you guys have been asking me on Twitter and whatnot, on social media, how I feel about 13 Reasons Why, which is a new show on Netflix, in case you haven't heard and live under a rock, because I think everyone's talking about the show right now. So I started watching the show earlier this week, actually. Well, I'm filming this on a Friday. It's going up on Monday for No Makeup Monday. But I started it like Monday, I think, this last Monday. And yesterday I watched about five episodes, which they're all an hour long, and I finished it. I stayed up past midnight to finish it because it was just getting so intense, and I just, I couldn't wait to finish it the next day, and I knew it would make me emotional, and I didn't really want to start off today crying. I will point out, I've cried so many times watching this show, um, which I'm not normally a show crier. Like, when I'm watching shows and movies, I actually don't cry that often. So this show really got to me. It is brutal it's very honest and i think everyone should really watch it especially if you're a young adult or a teen or parent of one of those this show really reaffirmed why i got my degree in psychology why my dream job is a high school counselor if you ever wanted to know why watch this show this is the reason why because there are bad counselors out there i want to make it my life goal to help people like hannah baker and i know this is like a fictional story it's based on a book um but i think this is so real like this happens so often everything about this storyline is real like it there are stories out there that are just like hers so i've heard some people say that this actually glamorizes and romanticizes suicide and i really have to disagree in the beginning i kind of thought that too the first like two episodes I was like this is a little you know there's a love story there's you know some you know high school drama and it seemed overproduced in a way for entertainment value but at, watching it as a whole it definitely doesn't stay that way and it doesn't go down that path too far I really hope that the rain noise isn't bothering you guys too much I really hope I don't have to like refilm this video anyway if you guys didn't see the 30 minute kind of special thing that they put on at the end of the show it basically there's interviews with the actors that were in the show the author of the book and just some other like people who are professionals in the field or Selena Gomez is in it also because she is a producer on the show in case you guys didn't know but they talk about why they made the show and what was important about it and I think that piece right there that 30 minutes was one of the most important pieces of this entire show so you need to go back and watch it if you didn't but that segment at the end is so important for all of us to watch to really understand teenagers and especially because you know most of us have been there we've been teenagers and I mean that was a long time ago for me personally but I remember that time and I remember how everything felt and how horrible my emotions could be because obviously teens think differently their brain is not done developing your brain actually isn't done developing I think until in between 22 and 25 so you really aren't your the real person you're going to be until you reach your 20s which is huge because so many people end their lives before they're 20 years old suicide is the num number two killer of teens in the US Number two on that list is suicide. And I cried through the whole 30 minute process of when they were talking about the show and stuff and what teens go through in today's world, especially with cyberbullying. Granted, I didn't have that when I was growing up because I had a MySpace in my junior and senior year of high school, but I actually didn't grow up with internet. I didn't have internet my whole high school. I also didn't own a cell phone until after high school. So I'm so grateful that I didn't go through any of that and I got to live my life without social media for such a long time I'm so grateful but now it's inevitable you know it's you can't just go you can't do that anymore I feel this show is definitely not entertaining it's not one of those shows that you watch and you're like wow I'm, I'm I, I enjoyed that no one's gonna say that that they enjoyed the show because it is hard to watch it is so brutal but and there were times where I was like maybe I shouldn't finish this because I know I'm gonna be miserable by the last two episodes I knew I was gonna hate watching this show but I think I owed it to the creators and the teens out there who this is their real life story 
to finish the show and I think all of you should watch it. There's an article that I'll link down below if you want uh, in advance trigger warnings for the episodes because some of the episodes do have them in front to warn you of what kind of content is going to be in the episode, but there's also some other things that happen in the show that aren't, you're not given a warning and it can also be kind of triggering, so they didn't really, you know, catch everything. So I'll link that down below if you want like a further breakdown of what's actually in the show and what could possibly be triggering for you. I'm so glad that they created the show in a way that made it very real for the viewer to feel exactly what Hannah was feeling. I'm gonna tell you this kind of spoiler, I guess. Um, I mean, not really. You know that she kills herself. But in the episode where she actually does it, it is so hard to watch. It is so uncomfortable. I was crying the whole, I like bawling crying the whole time, especially when her mom walked in. And they definitely don't make it beautiful at all. They show you the horror of what suicide is. And I think one of the other things that's really important to talk about is the character Alex in the show, who also tries to kill himself. And we don't really know if he succeeds or not because the way the show ends. And I saw this tweet and I wanna read you some of the posts on it because it really made you think after you finished the show. This is the one that really broke my heart. And it says the most fucked up thing about 13 Reasons Why was that while we were trying to let Hannah tell her story about people missing her signs, most of us missed the signs from Alex. I felt like the counsel the counselor scenes were so real to me because that man, that man has my dream job. I know this is a story, like I said, but that character is supposed like is me. Like that's what I want in my life. And at first it felt so realistic because at first he was saying the right things. He was trying to get her to open up. He was turning his phone off, which is what you're supposed to do. But towards the end, he took a wrong turn and kind of said, well, if you can't tell me what happened to you, then you need to move on, which is not what you say. And if there's any sign of sexual assault at all, you do have to report it. Someone had asked me, well, don't the counselors have to tell the parents everything no matter what and that is not true school counselors actually they have um, confidentiality with their students and so the only reason they would have to report anything to cps would be if they were going to harm themselves someone else or there was abuse everything else they can keep a secret they cannot tell the parents they don't have to tell the parents they don't even have to tell lawyers sometimes i had a class child and family psychopathology and she is a family therapist and there are times when she when lawyers are contacting contacting her to report in a case and she can turn them down because of con confidentiality even if it's a minor which is awesome to learn because you really let them build that trust with you and that's so important and you do you can tell them I will have to report something if you say that you're going to hurt someone or yourself or if there's abuse um, you you can tell them that and then everything else can be a secret which I think is awesome because some kids just really and teens specifically just really need someone to talk to in an unbiased non-judgmental non-family member way where there's not going to be intervention of police or you know things like that because that can just be really overwhelming for their situation and what's even in more interesting is they don't even really have to tell the parents uh, cps will eventually tell the parents if there's you know abuse or suicidal thoughts or you know homicidal thoughts or something like that so the parents sometimes aren't involved in the reporting process which is very interesting and um, school psychologists and whatnot counselors are able to do it anonymously so they don't so the parents don't come to them and say what are you doing with my child and things like that so i thought the show did a really good portrayal of showing what a bad counselor would be because although he had the right techniques in the beginning when he was talking to hannah he really didn't his heart wasn't invested in it you know he wasn't trying to build that trust and you could tell when he found out who is the one that sexually assaulted her he wasn't comfortable with it anymore and didn't want to help anymore and so for me this show was even more meaningful because that is my demographic that i want to work with more than anything and who i want to help more than anything because they're world is so different from children and adults. They're in the, this whole other universe that's so fascinating that they see things 
in such a different way and granted we've all been there we've all been a teen so it's interesting as an adult to look back and be like they really are so different and they see the world so differently and it honestly breaks my heart how high the suicide rate is amongst teens and I think it's great that shows like this are being created to bring awareness and one of the things that someone said in the show at the end when they were doing the interviews um, they said they need more emotional education in schools, and I 100% agree. Granted, there's anti-suicide, you know, things going on in, in schools and also anti-bullying, but when I see the signs, like the posters in the show, I'm like, how is that effective on these students? Like, what the posters say are great things about anti-suicide and whatnot, but that's not going to do anything in the situation. I think they need to hear it, they need to see it, and they need more education about it than just posters or, you know, a 30 minute lecture in a class. You know, in my career, I might come across issues like that. I mean, it's guaranteed I'm gonna come across issues like this and it's honestly terrifying because it's like, what do you say? And so it's gonna be hard to, you know, face these things in my life, in my career, but it's something that I want more than anything and something I want to do, it's my dream. And this show really reaffirmed that. I wasn't necessarily wavering recently, but I was like, maybe I won't go back to school. I don't know, I don't really know what the future has in store for me. What if I get a job and I'm just like content and I just never go back to school and I never become a school counselor. But this show really lit a fire under my ass and <laughs> like to, you know, remind myself why I went into this field in the first place and why I love it so much. I'll have some resources listed down below if you're feeling upset or anything or, you know, this is all too much um, down below and, you know, leave your response to the show in the comments and how it's affected you and how, you know, it's affected you personally in your life and, I mean, I know that's saying a lot for just a show. I mean, it is just a show and a book after all. But I think it just is so heavy and I definitely don't see it as romanticizing suicide. I don't think this is going to give a lot of teens some ideas. If anything, it shows how much of a permanent decision it is and how it affects everyone around you. So just remember that everything that you do affects the world and there are people in the world that love you. If not anyone directly, then I love you. So leave your thoughts down below. This is just a very casual video. I thought I would sit down and talk to you on this rainy day. I hate the rain. I hate it. It's not really helping the situation with, you know, being so sad about the show. But um, yeah, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it down below and I will talk to you guys later. Bye.